So I do a lot of diagrams and drawings, those kinds of things, because people talk better in pictures than they talk in words. And uh, one of the things I always end up with is I end up with a diagram and I end up with an image file that either ends up in a document or a Google Docs or a wiki page, or it ends up in a GitHub repo as part of the documentation. And I always end up with the drawing and the picture. And it turns out PNG files, you can add all kinds of extra metadata. And the folks at Draw.io have set this up so that when you export a PNG file, you save a PNG file, it'll save all the document markup. So you can actually take a PNG file, an image file, and then re-edit it as if it was a document, because it is a document. So you only need one file, and it'll do everything. It makes it editable, and it makes it viewable everywhere. So I'm going to create a new diagram. Create a blank diagram. And basically, what I have is some drawing file. You know what? We can make this a little bigger even. View it at... Zoom in. Yeah, so let's do this drawing file. And I usually end up with an image file. Right. So normally what happens is you end up with a drawing file that generates an image file. And we'll make the drawing file be boring and we'll make the image file be pretty. If you like blue, which I do, my wife likes blue. So therefore, I like blue. You can actually end up with an image file. That inside of it has the drawing file. And then you can reopen this later. So these two things become this. And I'm going to show you right now. So I have this drawing file I just did. Oh, let's make it a different color purple. So I like purple too. So we can do file, export as PNG. What I recommend is we're going to put a little border on this. So every time we save this, and you can see this include copy of diagram. So I'm going to save this out. And we're going to call this, uh, what is this? Diagrams and images in one. I don't know if you could see that because I don't know if that was off screen. So now if I close this, and at this point, I exported it as a PNG. So I can just discard the changes here, and I'll show you. So if I want, um, what I can do is I can rerun Draw.io. That was the wrong program. Rerun Draw.io. Bring it up here. The only thing it doesn't do is remember the size I want. And then I can say open an existing drawing. And you will notice here that it actually, the Draw.io types it supports are PNG, SVG, and HTML. So you can support this, do this as an SVG also. I tend to use PNG because it works everywhere, but you can use other formats. So then I can just, this was diagrams and images in one, and boom, I got my diagram back. And then I can edit it, and I can print it and do all that stuff. And I can take this PNG and put it in a web page or a Confluence page, or I can put it in Google Docs, I can put it in a Word doc, and then I can re-edit it just by downloading it, edit it, and push it back. It is amazing. You should try it.